Modifieds rolling out onto the back stretch, getting ready for a heat race. Number one. Eight laps will be the distance. Chris Tanoli, car number 71 out of Hermitage, Missouri, leading the field. Andrew Smith out of Rogersville picked up the win first weekend of racing here. James Thompson driving the Hayden Machinery number 11 car on his outside, your feature winner from two weeks ago. That's Andrew Armstrong out of Benton, Arkansas. And keep an eye on the one in the back. That'll be the number 52, the Johnson Roofing 52 of Mitch Keeter. Keeter coming to us out of Webb City, Missouri. And watching hot laps earlier tonight, looked like Mitch Keeter may have had the fastest car. Track, of course, has changed from then, and Andrew Armstrong did not take hot laps, so we'll see how it all shakes out. Five cars, eight times green in the air, Andrew Smith crosses the line first. Andrew Armstrong wasting no time. He'll go for that lead as they come off turn number two down the back stretch, down into turns three and four. Big slide job through turns three and four, and he makes it work. Andrew Armstrong out in front. Oh, Chris Tinoli, a little bit of a catch coming off turn number two. Keeps it going straight, but loses a lot of ground out on the racetrack. Oh, problems for Mitch Keeter. Caution coming out. That car took a hard right turn and I don't know what happened, but if you, if you look at that, it looked like the steering wheel may have come off. And that does happen occasionally. And if that steering wheel comes off, especially at that point in the racetrack, that car is going to take a hard right turn. And I'm just thankful nobody was on the outside of that 52 car. And again, don't know exactly what's going on with Mitch Keeter, but definitely stopped over there in turns one and two. And looks like more severe than just a steering wheel as the tow truck coming to the front of that 52 car and that usually means some suspension damage and Mitch Keeter's heat race is over hopefully not his night really looking forward to this a main tonight we got some good hot rods Mitch Keeter one of them Andrew Armstrong out in front another one of them tough competitors driver out of Benton Arkansas Andrew Smith with a win already this year. James Thompson winning last weekend. And then you got Cody Jolly coming out next, along with Sean Duncan, Bobby Parrish. Cody Jolly gonna be in heat race number two, so certainly hope this is a minor deal for Mitch Keeter. So the Dub Plumbing 0-1 of Andrew Armstrong will be out in front for the restart. Andrew Smith in the Chicks gear number 49 will restart second. James Thompson in the Hayden Machinery number 11 and Chris Tanoli, the Hickory County, Missouri pilot in fourth. One to go this time by. I mentioned the steering wheel coming off just a few weeks ago. I believe it was Richard Harrington that uh, steering wheel come off of his car. Of course, these steering wheels are removable. And when you're going into those turns like that, most time you're pulling back on them and every once in a while it happens. I've seen it happen more than once. Here we go off turn number four. Andrew Armstrong leads them in green back in the air.
Good battle shaping up for the number two spot. That's gonna be James Thompson looking underneath the 49 of Andrew Smith. Off turn number four, they'll come in nose to tail, a car length separating that second and third place battle. Thompson with a good run up top side of Speedway. Now a little bit of a hiccup. Cost him a little bit of track position there. Tanoli in fourth. Gets a good run off the top of the Speedway in turns three and four. Andrew Armstrong running that top lane as is all of our competitors right now. Just as I say that, Andrew Smith dives it to the bottom. Chris Tanoli as well over in three and four. Andrew Smith looks like searching around for the best lane for his car right now has that luxury out in front. Chris Tanoli trying to close in on James Thompson. That's the battle for third. White flag in the air one more time around for this group. Final time down the back stretch. And Andrew Armstrong picking up the heat race win. Uh, Andrew Smith second. James Thompson and Chris Tanoli. Tanoli, a little bit of a hiccup off turn number two on that final lap. Lost a little bit of ground, but that car looking pretty strong tonight. Good to have Chris Tanoli on hand with us. Comes to us out of Hickory County, up around Hermitage, Missouri. Always good to see Chris bring that 71 car to the Springfield Raceway. Sean Duncan out of Lockwood, Missouri, bringing the next group of cars out. It'll be Bobby Parrish, Orinogo, Missouri driver, car number 26. Your point leader, the 85 of Jody Tillman out of Branson West. Cody Jolly out of Jasper, Missouri in the double zero. And rounding out the field out of Stratford, Missouri, Adam Kaltenbach in car number two. I believe this is Adam Kaltenbach's first run with us this season in that two machine. Good looking hot rod there, starts shotgun on the field, five cars, eight times, heat race. Number two for the IMCA Modifieds, here we go, coming off turn number four, green flag in the air, Sean Duncan leads them in, nice start for Sean Duncan. A little bit of an advantage as they go down into turns one and two, but here comes Bobby Perry, strong on the top side of the speedway, and he'll take over the top spot. Sean Duncan going to drive it deep into turns one and, and three and four, that is, but it's Bobby Parrish leading lap number one. Cody Jolly on the charge. He'll use that top lane. Oh, a little bit too top as he's almost over the berm. Had to get out of the gas, cost him just a little bit. Now he'll put the outside move on Sean Duncan. Cody Jolly strong in that double zero car. Jody Tillman running back in the fourth spot, trying to get up to this lead pack. But Bobby Parrish setting sail in that 26 car, looking strong tonight. Off turn number four, give him a seven car advantage, but Cody Jolly trying to cut that gap down. Bobby Parrish, Smooth on that top lane. Cody Jolly now driving it deep down into turns three and four. And definitely made up a little bit of ground there. Once again, drives it deep into one and two, but cannot keep that momentum going. Bobby Parrish with a smooth momentum around the top side of the racetrack, able to hold serve. And Cody Jolly almost too high once again off turn number two, and that opens that gap between the top two. Bobby Parrish one more time around. Down the back stretch they'll go, the 26 car. Looking for the heat race win. He'll bring it off turn number four. Bobby Parrish your winner. Cody Jolly second, and Jody Tillman third.